Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Those who have experienced a relationship with a narcissist understand the cyclic nature of their love. There are times when they shower you with attention, purchasing lavish gifts, and declaring their unprecedented feelings for you. They make you feel like you're the center of their universe, the apple of their eye. However, this affectionate behavior is often short-lived. Soon enough, they start to criticize your style of dressing, your manner of speaking, and they even go as far as making you question your own sanity. Their once-loving demeanor morphs into something entirely different, almost unrecognizable. The person who once adored you now seems to find fault in everything you do. And then, without any forewarning, they get bored. They leave you, making you feel as though you never held any significance in their life. It's a cold, harsh feeling, as if you were merely a pawn in their game, easily disposable and quickly forgotten. However, this changes abruptly when they require an ego boost. Suddenly, you matter again. They come running back, almost as if nothing ever happened. But imagine a scenario where the power dynamics were reversed. What if you could be the one who determines the course of the relationship? What if the narcissist comes back to you, but now it's on your terms? So, how can you make a narcissist miss you? The answer is simpler than you might think. Ignorance is a potent tool in this scenario. Ignore them, and you'd be surprised at the lengths they'll go to capture your attention. Narcissists thrive on interest and admiration. They crave the attention they get from others. Therefore, playing hard to get can be one of the most effective strategies to lure them back. By withholding the attention they so desperately seek, you can make them miss you. It's a game of cat and mouse, where you're the one in control. It's a strategy that requires patience and resilience, but the results can be incredibly rewarding. This is how you make a narcissist miss you, and in turn, how you regain control. Is it possible for a narcissist to truly miss you? Narcissists are often portrayed as unfeeling, self-absorbed automatons, but the reality is quite different. In truth, they are extremely sensitive individuals. Their sensitivity and emotional intensity are so overwhelming that it leaves little room for the emotions of others. It isn't that they lack the capacity for empathy, but their self-focus is so intense that it leaves them with limited space to accommodate the feelings of others. Given this, can someone who is so engrossed in themselves truly miss you? The answer is a somewhat unsatisfying combination of yes and no. Every relationship, even the healthiest ones, are built around the fulfillment of emotional needs. So, in one sense, narcissists can indeed miss you. When you're not around, they may feel a lack of fulfillment of their emotional needs, which can translate into a feeling of missing you. They require someone to bolster their ego, to reflect back to them the grand image they have of themselves. Your absence can create a void that they interpret as missing you. On the other hand, a narcissist's concept of missing someone can be quite different from the norm. A true narcissist doesn't miss you as an individual with unique traits, thoughts, and emotions. Rather, they miss the feelings you elicited in them. You were a source of narcissistic supply, a wellspring of positive emotions that they could tap into. They miss having someone within their sphere of control, someone they can extract this narcissistic supply from whenever their ego requires a boost. Yet, this doesn't mean you are irreplaceable in their eyes. Any individual who can make them feel the same way can easily take your place. The concept of missing someone, for a narcissist, is less about longing for a specific individual, and more about longing for the feelings that individual can provide. So, while a narcissist might claim to miss you, it's essential to understand what they truly mean. How can you make a narcissist miss you and regret losing you? If you have never been involved with a narcissist, you might find it perplexing why anyone would want such a person back after a breakup. Nonetheless, it's not uncommon for survivors of such relationships to feel disoriented and powerless following a discard, which is when the narcissist abruptly ends the relationship. Understanding how to regain a narcissist's attention after a discard can be a means of regaining one's self-esteem, even if the relationship is ultimately destined to fail. So, how can you make a narcissist regret losing you? 1. Begin by adopting their mindset. The initial step to making a narcissist miss you is to understand their thought process. 
What aspects of your personality did they appreciate the most? What qualities will they struggle to find in a new romantic interest? If you're trying to determine what a narcissist regrets the most, it's typically the loss of their source of narcissistic supply. Chances are, your partner never truly saw you as a person, but rather as a source of emotional supply. But do narcissists miss their old sources of supply? Most certainly. Reflect on the instances when they were most reliant on their supply, what were the triggers that made them feel particularly negative about themselves? Consider the moments when you were invaluable in boosting their ego. Leverage this knowledge to your advantage, providing their source of supply in small, controlled amounts. 2. Allow them to conclude the relationship. You might believe that the narcissist is already doing this, criticizing you, gaslighting you, and generally making your life miserable. Like most people, you probably confront them about their negative behaviors and express how much it hurts you. However, this approach is ineffective against a narcissist. They're likely to win such an argument simply because they disregard your feelings. Instead, when the narcissist is belittling you or playing the victim by enumerating all the wrongs you've supposedly done to them, simply let them agree with their criticism and express that you're not deserving of them. By agreeing with them, you end the argument and it provides you an opportunity to initiate the breakup. If they're taken aback by your decision, remind them of the negative things they've just said about you. This approach might just make a narcissist miss you and regret losing you. 3. Encourage them to reveal their inner thoughts. Despite the prevalent perception, narcissists are not devoid of emotions, they simply struggle with expressing their feelings and concerns in a healthy manner. Intriguingly, narcissists harbor the same longing for emotional intimacy as the rest of us. However, their ability to achieve this intimacy is often hampered by their own insecurities and fears. Narcissists live in perpetual fear of appearing weak, scared, or less than perfect, vulnerabilities that are inherent to the human condition. To shield themselves from the risk of being seen in such a light, they erect emotional barriers, ensuring no one gets too close to uncover their true selves. This fear of emotional exposure is why narcissism often results in superficial relationships built on money, status, or physical attraction. Anything more complex or emotionally demanding feels like a potential threat to their carefully curated image. Nevertheless, it's not impossible to penetrate the defenses of a narcissist, provided you are patient and determined. Once you succeed in breaking down their emotional walls and they begin to open up, they may become more attached to you, at least temporarily. 4. Jog their memory about the positives of your relationship. Narcissists are constantly on the hunt for something better, more wealth, a more attractive partner, someone who can enhance their social standing. They tend to overlook the aspects of their past relationships that brought them joy, focusing instead on the negatives and the possibility of finding a more enticing option elsewhere. To draw a narcissist back to you, remind them of all the ways you contributed positively to their life. In an effort to justify their decision to discard you and to maintain their image, they will likely highlight your shortcomings and the issues in your relationship. However, by subtly instilling doubt about their decision to leave, you can get under their skin. Gradually, this doubt can grow and before long, they may find themselves consumed with thoughts of you and what they lost when they let you go. This strategy can make a narcissist miss you and regret their decision to leave. 5. Implement a no-contact rule. If you're curious about how to make a narcissist regret losing you, the most straightforward approach is to cease all communication with them. Despite discarding you, a narcissist often keeps a channel of communication open, allowing them access to you whenever they require a boost to their narcissistic supply. Implementing a no-contact rule sends a clear message to the narcissist, they are no longer a priority in your life, your emotional state is not subject to their whims, and you have no interest in rekindling the relationship in the future. Regrettably, a complete cessation of contact is not always feasible. If you share parenting responsibilities with a narcissist, for example, some level of communication is necessary. In such situations, it's advisable to keep the conversation strictly focused on matters concerning the health and welfare of your child. If the narcissist attempts to steer the discussion towards themselves and their post-breakup experiences, gently redirect the conversation back to pertinent parenting issues.
Does a narcissist miss you after no contact? It's important to note that if your goal is to reconcile with the narcissist, your no contact rule will be temporary. This period of non-communication provides them with time to reflect and potentially realize your significance in their life. However, it's crucial not to misconstrue this as a recognition of your inherent value as an individual. Instead, it's more likely an acknowledgement of your value to them. The narcissist is always considering how they can benefit from you. The question of whether a narcissist misses you after no contact is less about longing for you as a person and more about missing the narcissistic supply you provided. How can you make a narcissist pursue you? Following a discard, a narcissist may leave you alone for a while. Their intention is to make you feel insignificant and undeserving, while they hunt for potential romantic prospects that they perceive as superior. The strategy to encourage a narcissist to pursue you revolves around demonstrating what they're missing without you. You need to remind them of the value you brought to their life. Narcissists will treat you with kindness and respect only when they perceive a risk of losing something that holds value to them. They need to understand that your presence in their life is contingent upon their behavior. Another tactic is to reignite the thrill that characterized the early stages of your relationship. During this honeymoon phase, the narcissist felt on top of the world as they believed they had found someone capable of fulfilling all their emotional needs. Your goal is to rekindle these feelings, to transport them back to the time when they were showering you with attention and affection, enthralled by the novelty of a fresh romance. However, always remember why the narcissist left in the first place. Their love has an expiration date, and they reach their limit when the initial excitement fades. 1. Give yourself a makeover. A narcissist places great importance on their physical appearance. This applies to both male and female narcissists. So, if you're wondering how to make a narcissist regret losing you, consider investing more effort into your appearance. When you look good, it signals that you're confident and doing well after the breakup. This alone can provoke a reaction from them, as they like to believe they have control over your self-esteem. In addition, narcissists enjoy being seen with attractive people as it enhances their own image and status. Seeing you looking vibrant, fit and refreshed with a new makeover may stir feelings of regret in the narcissist about losing you. This visual transformation can act as a powerful reminder of what they've lost, potentially triggering them to chase after you once again. 2. Become the individual you want to be. While physical attractiveness can be a significant draw for narcissists, it isn't everything. Concentrating on your self-improvement is an excellent way to liberate yourself from the chains of a narcissistic relationship and discover your true potential. If there's something you've always been interested in but never pursued, whether it's a career shift, traveling the world, or diving into a new hobby, now is the perfect time to pursue it. The narcissist will take note of your newfound drive and ambition and this could reignite their interest in you. Embracing your personal interests and ambitions not only enriches your own life, but also sends a clear message to the narcissist that you are self-sufficient and thriving, which could make them miss you and potentially regret losing you. 3. Encourage them to speak about themselves. Most people enjoy talking about themselves, and it's gratifying when the person they're interested in listens attentively. Narcissists take this to an extreme level often monopolizing conversations and steering them back to a focus on their achievements whenever the topic veers away. Engage the narcissist by asking them about their accomplishments or anything that will inflate their ego. It's essential to restrain yourself from pointing out any exaggerations or untruths in their stories. This approach can be challenging, especially if the narcissist has discarded you and you're acutely aware of their flaws. However, fostering an environment where they feel free to boast about their achievements can make them feel valued and admired, which could draw them back to you. In essence, becoming the person you want to be and engaging the narcissist in ego-boosting conversations can potentially make a narcissist miss you and chase after you once again. 4. Refrain from expressing excessive admiration. While this suggestion might appear to contradict the previous point, when executed correctly, it is a highly effective strategy for enticing a narcissist back to you. The key is to maintain an active interest in their self-centered monologues, but refrain from chiming in with praise or showing signs of being impressed. As long as you're willing to lend an ear, they'll continue to seek your attention. 
The longer you maintain this approach, the more intrigued they'll become. Essentially, you want the narcissist to yearn for your approval, to feel they have to work for it. 5. Project an aura of unavailability. For a narcissist, few things are as exhilarating as the thrill of the chase. Pursuing a potential partner often provides more excitement for them than the actual relationship. So, if you're attempting to decipher how to make a narcissist return to you, cultivating an air of unavailability is a highly effective tactic. If the narcissist attempts to arrange a meeting with you, respond vaguely, implying that you're occupied and unable to commit to a specific time. This noncommittal stance can make you appear elusive and desirable, potentially stoking the narcissist's interest in you. By balancing a careful interest in their self-centered narratives with a deliberate lack of excessive admiration, coupled with an aura of unavailability, you can create a dynamic that may make a narcissist miss you and strive to regain your attention. There we have it. We hope you found this video insightful and helpful. If so, please show your support by liking this post and sharing it with others who might benefit from this information. Your comments are also welcome, we'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to stay updated with more content like this. Remember, your engagement helps us provide more informative and useful content. Thank you for your support.